Hey, what's up, everybody? You know, first of all, I gotta want to talk about a few things related to WWE. Um, first of all, I want to respond to Spinnet. Um, Spinnet uh, was always wondering why people, you know, complain about Cena, Orton, Batista, and, and Triple H always being in the main, main event, but they never complain about Edge. You know, and spinning it, you, you, you pointing out the fact that Edge had been in the main event about two years ago or something like that for seven months in a row, about two years ago or so, that he was in the, in the main event seven months in a row. Uh, there's, there's a reason for that. You see, the reason Edge was always in the main event was because it was the storyline that he was involved in with Vicky Guerrero. You see, Vicky Guerrero was his on-screen lover slash wife, as well as the on-screen general manager of SmackDown. So you will add all. So you put that all together with Edge being the ultimate opportunist. Of course, Edge is going to take have take that opportunity to have his wife, the general manager, put him in the world title match, put him in the main event every month. That's why Edge was always in it because of that storyline. If it hadn't been about that storyline, and if that, you know, if Vicky Guerrero wasn't around, then Edge wouldn't probably have been in the main event as much as he was, but it was because of that storyline that, you know, kept fans watching, wondering, oh God, when is this gonna end? I mean, I admit I was one of the fans that wanted it to end, but I also found it intriguing of how many times Vicky Guerrero was always going to find a way to get her husband, on-screen husband at the time, Edge, the world title. I don't know, in those seven months. I mean, let's take a look at the fact. Um, Edge lost the title WrestleMania 24 to The Undertaker. He loses his rematch at Backlash, and then Vicky Guerrero goes as far as to strip The Undertaker of the title, hold it up until Judgment Day, okay, so that possibly Edge can get it back. But Edge doesn't get it back. Undertaker does. So what does Vicky Guerrero do next? She says, okay, one night stand, you face Edge in a TLC match, you win, you retain the title, Edge wins, you're out of the WWE. So what happens? Edge, thanks to Chavo, Ryder, and Hawkins, and even Vicky, ends up winning the match, and Undertaker is gone from WWE for a few months, just basically to heal up his injuries. And then, of course, Edge leaves WWE after SummerSlam, comes back at Survivor Series, wins the WWE title, and reunites with Vicky. And, you know, so on and so forth. Then he loses it at Armageddon. Then he wins it at Royal Rumble. He retains it at No... He loses it at No Way Out. Wins the WWE... Wins the world title at No Way Out because Vicky is basically in charge of both shows at the time. And then he loses the title. Wins it back at Backlash. And I see where you're going with this, Internet. Wins it back at Backlash. Uh, retains it at Judgment Day then loses it at One Night Stand, or at Extreme Rules, and then the following night, Vicky Guerrero, on screen, and in character, and I guess to take some time off, quits the WWE, quits as general manager of Raw, and Edge basically comes out and finally tells the truth, says, hey look, the only reason I was ever in love with you, the only reason I was ever, I ever did the things that I did with you, was because you were you were in power. You had the power to do give me anything I wanted. But now since you don't have that power, I don't need you. So I want a divorce. And then of course Edge uh, ends up getting injured right after him and Jericho win the tag titles. So where does this lead Edge? Well, Edge is gone for about eight months. Comes back with the Rumble and wins. And there's a reason for that. And there's a reason for that. And again, like I said, the reason. The reason uh, against Spinnerette, he was always in the main event, was because of the storyline he had with Vicky. And if you notice, even though he was injured, he hasn't been in the main event that much in the past year. Okay? Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, I agree. He was in the main event from Rumble to from Rumble, No Way Out, Mania, Judgment Day, Backlash, and United Champions. Six months in a row, he was in the main event. That's understandable. That's understandable, but 
But I also understand. But you got to realize that Night of Champions, he wasn't in the main event, now was he? No. He was in a regular tag team match, or triple third tag team match, or whatever you want to call it. And him and Jericho won the titles. Then he got injured. And now, he's in, and now he comes back when it's a rumble. And the reason people like cheering Edge is because they know, storyline-wise, all his title reigns were basically given to him. All right? You know, 2006, you know that? 2000, majority of 2006, sporadically he was champion. We saw that. You know, he held the title for a couple months and lost it. For a few weeks, lost it. A couple months, lost it. It was sporadical with him. And then to, when Vicky Guerrero came on board, that's when they decided, let's give him this, let's go with this ultimate opportunist gimmick. Right? Because think about it this way. When he lost the title to Cena back in 06, he, all he was regulated to was tag team wrestling with Orton. Okay? I should know because I was at New Year's Resolution 2007, and I saw the match between them and DX. You know, the match that Triple H got injured in. But anyway, anyway, Edge, the reason fans like cheering him is because, like I say, storyline wise, they know that all his title reigns were given to him. He never really had a legitimate title reign that he earned and won by himself without any help. Now, I know what a lot of people are thinking. They're thinking, oh, great, Edge is, you know, in the main event again. And, and right now, he's officially a SmackDown superstar. What does that do? Well, Edge right now is a SmackDown superstar, but that could all change after the Elimination Chamber. So, but I know what you're saying. I know what you're thinking. You're, you're thinking, oh, great, he's a SmackDown superstar. Here we go again, Guerrero Edge, right? I don't think so. Because remember, Teddy is in charge, so we'll see what happens. But I don't think they'll run with that again. And if they do, they do. You never know. But anyway. Anyway, Ed right now is in a position to where he can earn it on his own. Okay? He can earn it on his own. He doesn't, you know, I, I think that's what WWE wants to do. They want him to earn, his t earn the championship on his own. So I think that's where they want to go with it. That's where they want to go with it. So, anyway, that that's why Edge was always in the main event spinner net because it was he's the ultimate opportunist and because of the the storyline here with Vicky. That's why. If it wasn't for that storyline, he wouldn't be in the main event. He wouldn't have had. It would be like 2006. He would sporadically be the champion, like 2006, 2007, I should say, sporadically be champion. Okay. So you got to look at it that way. All right, that that I mean, basically that's why Edge was always in the main event because of that story. You know, so now we're going to see where they're going to go with it. I mean, it looks like they want to kind of, to me, it looks like they want to mix Edge, Edge's current character with his original character, like, you know, ultimate opportunist, you know, but also like a loner or something like that. But anyway, anyway. That's why Spinnernet Edge has always been in the main event. And that's why people don't complain about Edge. Because they know, storyline-wise, again, it was all because of his association with Vicky Guerrero. I mean, when he was sporadically champion, they booed him. They didn't like him being champion. But they cheer him and like being champion because that's the way he is. Okay? I mean, that's part of the storyline. So we're just going to... So basically, that's why everybody liked Edge as champion. Because it was about the storyline and knowing that his title rings were always given to him. Um, you know, because of Vicky Guerrero. So, basically, that's really about it. I mean, Spinnernet, you want to respond to this? Radius 2X, you want to respond to this and agree? Go ahead. You know, be my guest. But that's just my response to you, Spinnernet. And I'll probably be back with another video to talk about some other things WWE related.